lot of buzz about you. A lot of people, you know, within the MMA community, mm -hmm. very excited about you. Did you pay attention to that? And did you feel like, all right, I really got to step up here? Um, no, more so than anything. It's kind of it's humbling and it's it's more heartfelt because. The journey that I've took has been a long road. Um, I'm somebody who came from nothing. I'm somebody who isn't really meant to be at the top or meant to be up to see uh, rising. So for me, it was more of sort of a per on a personal level. It was more, it was like heartfelt. Um, and to be able to see the response I had from people, it really kind of got me in the mood, got me motivated to get out of there. And to be able to give people what they want to see um, and put on a show. When did you feel like this is actually something, you say you come from a, a tough background, mm -hmm. this is actually something that is attainable, this is a, a possible dream as opposed to an impossible dream, when did you actually feel that? Um, I've actually felt that, like, like I said, I proved to myself, I, I, I fight demons myself, um, I'm always fighting against myself, not against the opponent on the other side of the ring, so uh, the cage rather, so um, obviously for me to be able to go out there and fight by fight, I'm always proving myself that I'm doing it the right way and I'm, I'm like I say I'm stepping towards that dream and, and proving to others that it can be done no matter where you come from or what your upbringing is or what your history or your past is it can be done with a lot of hard work dedication motivation and belief self-belief is the biggest thing that anyone can have um, and don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't do it so I've lived by them rules and I'm here to prove to everyone that it can be done. It's been you know, a long time coming and you know, the last time you fought before this was in June, like over a year ago. Now he's been here doing you know media stuff. At what point did you really feel like, okay, I'm a UFC fighter, I'm, this is actually happening, this isn't a dream? Um, it's, it's, it's kind of been... Like I say, as I've been going for my, my career and, and I've been getting the performances that I want and bit by bit I've been chipping away at sort of the skill level and I'm putting extending my assets um, as far as martial arts go. Um, I've really, like I say, been proving to myself that it can be done. So, like I say, I say the last, the last few fights, um, the performances that I've got, I've realized that I belong at the top with some of the best in the world. And I've got um, all the attributes to be able to put it across um, performance-wise, um, level-wise. And I, I just really want to be able to show the world that I'm there to shine and um, put on performances, entertain people, and as well be able to make something for the future for myself and my family. So. My baby hasn't got to go through what I went through. I, I really want to be able to turn things around and make him a pride kid, you know what I mean? When you say demons, what do you mean by that? When I say demons, I just mean, like, I, from, from an upbringing that I had, um, things were hard and, and I never really got to be able to... I got the advantages and things like that, so I was always fighting against myself to be able to push myself to the limit. Um, and like I say, I, I was one of them people that wasn't supposed to make it. Um, as a child growing up, things were hard. Things were very hard to attain. Um, and I had to work hard for it. Every, every single thing I've done, from every step I took in life, from going through school, um, right up until till now, it still goes on. And now I'm in the UFC, I can finally make something for myself and for my family. Um, so, yeah, I, I say them demons, and as I mean them demons for me, it's just proving that I've got what it takes to be able to change my life, my future, my family's future, and that's what I'm going to do. So what do you do now? After, I mean, you come away well to the stage. Are you ready to get back in, in or do you take a little bit of time off? What's next? Well, it's the thing. I've been at the Black Zillions now in Boca Raton. Um, big thank you to my team and all the supporters, all my all my coaches uh, in, in Florida um, for all the job they've done with me. I've been there for six months now. I've been working real hard. So, yeah, I'm going to go home. I've, got, I've just had a little baby boy as well, so I'm going to spend a little bit of quality time with him. I've been away from him for three months now. I've only seen him for a week. So it's going to be nice to be able to go home, have some cuddles and that. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fresh. So I'm hoping that the UFC, Dana, Get me a fight, get me back out there. You've got UFC London coming up. I wouldn't mind getting on that card, you know what I mean? Uh, we've got a big fan base back at home. All the love and support that I've got from them has been phenomenal. So we're going to get loads of people there, do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I want to continue. Um, but I'm fresh. Like I said, I had a little bit of a break since my last fight with Cage Warriors and stuff like that. So let's just, let's just, just keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. And uh, as a lover of hot chocolate, your name, uh, your nickname <laughs> is one of the very best. Where does mm -hmm. it come from? Oh, it's crazy how I got that. Um, to be fair, I moved from London to an, another place up in the northwest called Liverpool. Um, at the time, I was working security um, on the nightclubs and things like that. And my boss actually just called me Hot Chocolate by pure chance. Now, at the time, no one knew me. So I got introduced to the city as Hot Chocolate. It's stuck by me and it's been with me for six years. Um, and yeah, like I say, it's catchy. Everyone's, everyone kind of li likes it or loves it. Um, hot chocolate is not a bad tasting thing. So, do you know what I mean? We're, we're going on the up with that. And you've had some pretty you know, exciting finishes before. How high do you rank this finish on, you know, on your scale of best fights? To be fair, um, I kind of surprised myself with the finish that I had. 
I wasn't necessarily looking for submission. Like I said, my striking's become a lot more dynamic. My power's gone through the roof. I was kind of looking to put them away, and I thought I was going to put them away as well, get that knockout bonus. But if Dana's feeling uh, good and he wants to give a submission bonus, a performance bonus, then I'm happy to take that at the same time as well. But yeah, as far as performances go, finishes are finishes. That's what entertains people. That's what makes me feel good. Um, so I just want to continue finishing people and proving that you need to be someone that you need to watch out for me because I'm coming.